I'm Johnny Scoville. I have issues and this is Chase the Heat. I haven't done this in quite a while, you guys. In fact, the last time I did it, that's how long it was. Now it's down to here and I have to wrap it around. But I've been talking with David Foy and he's been saying, I need to do that. There were a few comments. Chi-Chi made a comment. Chi-Chi's awesome. Anyway, uh, thought I'd do this. I'm doing the Tube of Terror Challenge today, people. And it occurred to me, this is the last time that I'm going to do the Tube of Terror on American soil for quite a while. Um, I don't have any of these. I haven't signed any Tubes of Terror that I've gone out in a long time. I've just been busy with a lot of things, and I haven't signed any. So here's what I'm going to do. Since I'm moving to Australia, hopefully soon, um, I'm going to, tomorrow when I go to work, I'm going to sign, uh, 100 of these. Uh, 100? Yeah. So this one is one of 100. All right, so here's the first one signed. It'll be a series of one of 100. This one here is the first one. I will sign 99 more. This is what I'm going to eat today. You can see that it's brand new seal. Focus. There you go. You can see the, the seal on it. Uh, I'm going to eat this one today. Uh, last time I do it on American soil for a while. Unless I do one again before I leave, but probably I won't. You guys ready for this? <coughs> I. Johnny Scoville, I'm over the age of 18. Whew, easy. And although it's debatable, of sound mind, I have read and I understood the hot sauce product and disclaimer um, on the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept the League of Fire and their suppliers and manufacturers will under no circumstances be responsible for or liable for any claims of, or any claims of injury or damage arising from me consuming this product or multiples thereof. No multiples today, just one. I acknowledge and agree to this fact without question. All right, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna follow the rules. Hold on, let's go over here. Let's got a timer. Timer's gonna go over my shoulder, so I don't have to mess with my phone. Once I take the top off, there's your wrapper. All right, so I'm gonna put this right here. All right, timer, let's give me 10 minutes, please. All right, we are going. Let's have some fun. I mean a lot of these peanuts. You know, I've probably eaten more peanuts since starting doing the Chase Heat channel than I did all my life before that. During the five minute suffer session, I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. When I was in a, dropped a nut. Five second rule. When I was in uh, South Carolina, uh, Dallas, I was walking around with a uh, pepper apprentice at one point. I saw some, I mentioned this on a video the other day, but I didn't see it. I was walking along. I saw it, dude. My throat is on fire already. I don't care how many times you eat these peanuts. There's no really getting used to them. You got a problem. There we go. 
Um, anyway, I was walking with David. Uh, at the event. Everybody was very nice. We had a super time. I'm already burning back here. These are hot. And my tolerance is very high right now. Um, at the event, I saw somebody who looked very much like my dad. And not exactly like my dad. He was shorter, but man, he really sort of looked like my dad. He was staying still, and I, Dave, Dave was like, what's wrong? I'm like, look at that guy. Looks like my dad. And Dave was like, yeah, man, he really does. This took a long time to do. I can't believe how many times I did that. It's really a drag. No point in signing that one, it's empty. All right, so uh, we have six minutes left before I start the suffer session. Suffer session is started. My lips are burning. You know where I'm burning right now, which is unusual, I don't usually burn? On the gums, on the front, like up there. I don't usually hurt there, it's very strange. So uh, I asked this man, I said, hey man, would it be cool if I took a picture of you? I said, you look a lot like my dad. And my dad died. He was really nice. He said, of course you may. So, I'm going to show you this picture. Since he gave me permission to take the picture, I assume he wouldn't mind me showing it. Doesn't that look like Papa Scoville, you guys? Same head, same hair, same nose. That's crazy. Let me send a text here. Um, very strange. Was, and here is the craziest part. I'd see him throughout the event. He was there for two of the three days. And every time I'd see him, he'd look at me. You know, it was neat. So my gums are burning in front. It's funny, I've seen people say that some, some, uh, you get some uh, peanuts are hotter than the others. And over time, it's changed. The tolerances have changed. Your tolerance has changed. Here's the truth of it. I watch them made. I see them. I oversee it. Big Al is just a machine. And David is a machine. David the Pepper Um well, Because of the, the temperature, the, I mean, Scott, let me tell you what's on it, for those who don't know. Um, on these are Reapers, all right? Chocolate Bulas, Seven Pot Brain Strain, Seven Pot Douglas, Maruga Scorpions, and then 13 million Scoville Extract, or uh, Crystals, excuse me, Capsaicin Crystals that are flavorless, which is fantastic. But because that stuff is 13 million, we weigh that stuff down to the microgram. I'm not even really joking. It's so hot, we can't make it, you know, so we, we're very, very careful with how we do it. And the way it's mixed, it's so uniform and so it's mechanical. Um, there isn't, the, the, what happens is your tolerance has changed. People will see a video of me eating 10 tubes of terror. 
If you haven't seen that, it's a video, it's in the playlist somewhere. I did 10 tubes of terror in a contest. Now, three minutes left. During that uh, contest, 10 back to back, people will see that and think, I can do that all the time. <laughs> I actually trained really hard for that. I trained really, really hard for that. And that was the only thing I really ever trained for, for heat anyway. Uh, and I was ready for that. If I tried to do 10 right now, I'd be in trouble. Tolerances do this all the time. So suppose it wasn't as hot as last time, man, it's because your tolerance is higher. It's just kind of that simple. And if it's hot, you know, if it's hotter, it's because your tolerance has dropped. It's kind of how it works. All right, so we're necking in on two minutes left, two and a half minutes left on the 10 minutes. It's funny, when we uh, when we put together the rules for this, Foy's like, how do you want to do it? I'm like, let me think about it. Uh, we tried a couple different ways, like untimed, you can do it as fast as you want, but most of the, some of the very, very, very difficult challenges I've been in, especially restaurant challenges, they're timed. And the, when they get, when a restaurant challenge gives you like 10 minutes or 20 minutes, like a good example, the Chunkies in Texas, the Callahan Road, uh, Four Horsemen Burger, you have 20 minutes to eat that. I've seen people, when I, listen, I used to go down there on Saturdays, back when I used to drink, I used to get a burger and have a beer and just watch People attempt it. It was hilarious. It's like live YouTube all day long because people would just show up and try it. It was just so much fun. Uh, but I'd say, I see different strategies, and some people would get. I'm getting an endorphin rush right now. Uh, some people would come out, and and um, I even I've heard people say this. I got 20 minutes. No big deal. I got plenty of time. If you try to pace yourself thinking you got plenty of time, you're toast because that heat's going to set in really quick and it's going to ratchet up. And before you know it, you're three bites in and you're dying. Um, so, um, man, I'll tell you what. Sorry. Uh, I've tried it the, I tried three, the, uh, about three years before I did it for the channel. I tried the uh, Forestman Challenge. And I had the I'll pace myself attitude. And I got three bites in, tapped out. After three bites, I was done. You can't pace yourself. I'm, I, if you guys are watching this, you know, you got a, a challenge event where it's timed, it's in your best interest to polish that stuff off as fast as possible. I mean it, because if you don't, the heat rises really quickly. Uh, excuse me. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and... And there's the suffer session. <coughs> so, it'll serve you to, to go very quickly. Now, it's because of that that I made the rules the way I made the rules. I wanted you to have to only go no more than two pants at a time. It forces you to kind of... If you rifled them all in and shoved them in really fast, you, I've done it that way too. You can finish them off in a minute and a half, you know. I mean, it hurts, but it doesn't hurt as much. I think, you know, I think a lot, of, most of the people that try the Tubaterra fail. I think if you didn't have the, the 10 minute to eat it, I think a lot more people would do it. It's a 15 minute challenge. That's why I should have, when we came up with this, it's my fault. I should have put on here, it's a 15 minute challenge. 10 to eat them, five for the, the afterburn. Suffer session. Because some people, and I can see how it happens, it's ambiguous. You can read that to think that the minute you're done eating the last peanut, start that five minute suffer session. And the truth of the matter is it's still a nightmare of a challenge, even if you do it that way. But making it a 15 minute challenge is gnarly. It's amazing to go to events and uh, hand the, to, everybody knows it. Everybody knows the two terror nuts, man. You know what's great about that picture? If you ever, ever took a good look at it. My father took that picture. We were sitting, it's really funny. We were getting ready to launch it. 
and uh, Foy messaged me. I was with my mom and dad. And he says, I need a, a picture for the uh, Tube of Terror. I'm like, there's a half a million of them online somewhere. And he goes, just snag one, take one. And he goes, split your goatee. And I, so I think I waited till I did a, it was a day where I did a challenge. And uh, I said, Dad, take a picture of me. And I, it was like one picture, two pictures of me. So every time I see that, I think of that. When I used to live with my mom and dad, I was helping my mom out, taking care of my dad. His health was bad. I'd wake up, and on days where I had a challenge, I would do this in the morning or after I showered. It was easier then than waiting to the end of the day and doing a thing. So just like I did this morning. Um, actually, no, this morning I did it after because I just wanted to surprise you. But uh, in the, when I was in Reno, I'd do this in the morning. I'd come outside. She's like, she'd see me. My mom would see me. She's like, I know what that means. And she, <laughs> do you know my mom still says, are you going to eat all those peppers? She still worries about it. I'm like, it's five years, mom. That's just I've been doing that. She's been saying that to me forever. I was always that kid that wanted extra hot and everything. You know, extra chili, extra whatever. My oldest son's like that. Extra everything. He won't have anything the way it is. He doctors, doctors it all up. Okay, we're necking in a little bit under two minutes. Um, what you doing with your weekend? Are you doing anything exciting? Learning a great Jethro Tull song. Very cool. A couple of them, actually. Got to start playing. See, I'm, lately, I've been playing all these old tunes. I think some of the older music is so great. So got to start playing some new stuff for you. Um, so my day, my, let me tell you what my afternoon is going to be. I'm going to finish this, upload the video for you guys. I'm going to play guitar for a while. I might watch a movie this afternoon, like a horror movie this afternoon. I think I will. But uh, to recap, here is the first one. I'm again, I'm moving to Australia pretty soon, hopefully. Uh, and when I do, you know, I haven't signed any of these in a long time. When I get to work on Monday, I'm signing 100, uh, 99 more. There's one of 100. This is what they'll look like. It's just got to have right there, one of 100, two of Two of 100, three of 100, and so on. Uh, I'm going to sign 100 of these. So the next 100, if you buy it now, obviously they aren't going to get shipped Sunday. So any tubes that are purchased now will be signed um, from my website, johnnyscoble.com. So there's a link in the description box for that. Excuse me. So there's going to be 100. That doesn't mean when I come back, uh, after I move, I'll be back a couple times a year. When I come back, I'll obviously sit down and sign a bunch, but... Um, for a while, this, these are going to be the only signed ones that are going to be available. When I used to have more time, I used to do that a lot. I used to sit around and sign hundreds of my time. Uh oh, hang on a minute. Three, two, one. All right. Uh, so we're going to wrap it up. Uh, go to johnnyscoble.com. Get your limit uh, their limited series. I should put USA, I should put Oz on there. I'll put Oz on there as well since I'm, that's the reason for it. So no one can confuse him with anything else I've done. Okay, so all will say Oz on it. Limited 100 of them. Uh, love you guys a lot. You'll see the link in the description box right there is the pepper. Click the pepper when you do, you're on the bus. If you don't want to miss a video, don't miss a video. Click the bell for notification, you'll miss none of them. Really, the only way to miss none of them is, is if you come back and visit us daily. Right here is League of Fire. Just score me some points. More videos there. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase the Heat.